Hello and welcome to the 2 minute series. The topic for today is physiognomy as well as stratification. Now these are also types of community characteristics that we are discussing that every biotic community has a certain characteristics based on the species in that particular community. So this kind of characteristic the first here is physiognomy. Now basically whenever you enter a community you will get a first impression of that particular community based on some of its species and this first impression that you're getting is what is known as physiognomy because this is what is the external appearance or the look of the community largely this look is what comes from plant species in that particular community for example if you enter a forest then huge trees will be present so that is the physiognomy of that particular community compared to another community where you're entering and there that might be a grassland so in that you might get an appearance that is different from any forest so this is also because of the species that is there largely the dominant species play a major role in deciding the physiognomy of a community but that might not always be the case also so that is what is characteristic physiognomy the next characteristic that is important is a stratification now the stratification of a community largely deals with or refers to the vertical layering of vegetation in a particular community you all know that in a community there will be several amount of species of plants so it might happen that there might be trees then there might be some smaller trees then there might be some grasses there might be some shrubs so all of these are what are arranged in a vertical layer that might happen that some trees are very very tall in that particular community so this different vertical layering that is created of plant species is what refers to stratification so the question that can be asked is is stratification related to plant species only yes largely it is what is related to plant species but not always because in a water body it will be the animals who will be deciding the stratification which will be depending upon the light penetration and the temperature of the water body so it is not always the plant species sometimes it is animal species also but largely definitely it is the plant species also what you should know is that in very much developed communities and communities which are surviving for long time the stratification is what is very very high they will have multiple layers of plant life so this is what reflects a deep and old old community Community. For example, in the Amazons, the kind of forestation is such that there are a multiple number of layers, so there is a deeper stratification. So that's about physiognomy and stratification as community characteristics. And that's about our discussion today. Thank you all for watching the video.